Hello and welcome if you're new to my channel and if you're a subscriber, a warm welcome back. A few days ago, I published a video entitled My Luxury Wishlist for 2023. And off the back of that video, I received a number of comments. And one of the comments, I was asked by my wonderful subscriber uh, why I didn't have a Birkin or a Kelly on my wishlist. Initially, I was a little th thrown because I thought, is she talking about me or herself? Because my focus, uh, not just on my channel, but personally, is on brands that are focused on quality and under the radar. So I thought, oh, what's the context of that? It's not something that I even considered. A number of other people jumped in to the com that particular thread. And I thought, instead of responding in my comment section with a whole missive, um, I have a fairly lively comment section, which I really appreciate and enjoy. I thought, why not create a video? get a number of conversations going and also it'll give me the perfect opportunity to just very gently introduce um, two or three other brands. I'm Anna Susa Gonda and I produce educational luxury content for anyone after the finer things, whether you're young and starting out in life and wanting to reap the benefits of buying quality from the get-go, or you're new to money and wanting to learn how to navigate the terrain, or you're into luxury but you want to focus more on quality under the radar brands, then my content is geared towards you. I'm going to start the video from about halfway down the thread of the comment. My response was no to the commenter. And then another commenter jumped in and said, so curious to know why not, not to your taste, or you don't want to play the game. And when I read this comment, I thought, oh my goodness, I could respond in so many different ways. I have a fairly lively comment section, which I really appreciate and enjoy. And I thought, you know, why don't I take this opportunity to talk about uh, my thoughts on luxury, just to reiterate the whole point of my channel, which is brands that are focused on quality under the radar. And then also to chime in or very gently introduce maybe two or three other brands that are on the same level or a little better than Hermes. And so hence this video being created. That was actually the catalyst for this video. Uh, going back to her original comment uh, about taste and whether the Kelly and the Birkin are to my taste. Well, firstly, I'm okay with them aesthetically. They are fine. If someone was to present me with um, either of those bags or both as a present, I wouldn't say no. Would I buy them personally? No, unless there was a context uh, for me to buy the bags, then I would buy them. But personally, no. Firstly, as you know, my channel is focused on quality, first and foremost, and it's specifically brands that are under the radar. And that's something that I practice in my personal life, as well as talking about on my channel. So when I consider purchases for anyone or myself, what I consider first is quality brands. And then I look at the aesthetics that are on offer from quality brands. And then I make um, an enlightened decision. And that's how I typically operate. Um, and also from a personality point of view, um, I'm going to attach the video above where I talk about um, as a child, the virtues of quality were instilled in me from the, the, the very beginning from a very young age and so when I consider any purchase it's quality first and foremost hype never comes into the equation I've never been somebody who's into hype um, also from a personality point of view I'm more a leader than a follower I'm very comfortable buying things that are very good quality that nobody knows and the person who's really enjoying the benefits of the quality is me and I'm okay with people not knowing what it is. And I have found over time, people actually ask, oh, what is this? I've never seen this brand. It, it typically starts becoming more of a conversation startup. So I'm all about quality before hype. Aesthetically, I'm okay with the Kelly and the Birkin. And interestingly enough, as you know, uh, many brands have gone on to copy the aesthetic of the Kelly or the Birkin. Some have done a better job than Hermes. And um, you have brands like, for example, Delvo with the Tom Pet, uh, that were the first to introduce that design of um, the top handle flap over. So maybe Hermes were inspired by Delvo. We don't know. But I'm all about quality first and foremost. I'm not into hype. I never consider the hype. Uh, I just consider a solid product first and foremost. And then flipping over to the bit about playing the game. As we all know, when it comes to scoring a Birkin or a Kelly with Hermes, 
Um, nine times out of ten, a person needs a proven track record. Uh, people have to jump through hoops. Uh, Hermes very much maximizes on their whole brand equity and they say and do all sorts of, I think, at times unreasonable things. And because people want to associate, want to be part of Hermes and what it means, what it stands for, they jump through the hoops and spend phenomenal amounts of money. But you can get the Birkin um, without, and the Kelly without actually jumping through the hoops and having a massive spend. And that's something that I've experienced personally um, in the past. And I have, I think, a, a fairly interesting, uh, I'll bear a little scandalous story that I could share with you. When I get to 100,000 subscribers, if somebody remembers, let me know and I will create a story time. But when it comes to playing games, as far as I'm concerned, if I'm spending a crazy amount of money, an eye-watering amount of money, 5,000 euros and above, for example, and even less, my money has to work for me. I have to get um, a quality product, the craftsmanship, but most of all, I have to have service that's commensurate with a bag that's over 5,000 pounds, the service that's worthy, that I deserve, that I want. And I, I won't necessarily get that with um, Hermes unless, of course, I'm a VIP, whether you're somebody who's a big spender or a celebrity, for example. But as a normal person, I think the service ranges from uh, a little rude sometimes to mediocre and it was fine. You know, you're not going to get the most amazing service all the time consistently because they can get away with it. I want my money to work for me. And I have a brand I'm going to talk about um, in a second. It's focused on custom bags and you will get your money's worth when it comes to the quality of the product. It's better than Hermes and also the, the service. It's incredibly personal. Um, they're in touch all the time. You're getting constant updates. And that's what I expect when you're spending over 5,000 euros. But I would also like to introduce three other brands, one I've already spoken about, um, that are also on the same level as Hermes and worth considering if you are looking at the Birkin and the Kelly. A few doors down from the mothership on Faubourg Saint Honoré, which is located at number 24, you have at number 54, um, another French brand called Joseph Duclos. I have been asked by a number of subscribers to talk about the brand. I will in due course. Please be patient. It's literally going to be in the next few weeks. But Joseph de Clos is a brand, um, a royal appointed brand that was founded in 1754. Operated for a period of time, closed down, and it has since reopened and it started trading again. And the creative director is Ramesh Nair, somebody who is highly regarded, highly respected in the industry. He's becoming a bit of a turnaround king. So I've been waiting to see where he's going to resurface. And he has resurfaced as Joseph de Clos. If you ever go to the mothership, it's definitely worth spending your time just veering off to Joseph de Clos. It's one level lower in terms of luxury to Hermes, which is ultra high end. They are super premium. So their bags are typically priced between 3,000 and 5,000 euros. Incredibly well made. The craftsmanship is absolutely phenomenal. The leather they use is the very best. Um, and the bags look expensive. They are expensive and they look expensive. I've had one of my viewers say to me, please tell us if a bag looks expensive or not. Joseph Duclos bags personify what an expensive bag looks like. They have a number of styles, which I'll talk about in a lot of detail in a separate video dedicated exclusively to Joseph Duclos. But their front running style is the, Di uh, the Diane. Comes in two, two style options. There are two top handle sizes and one cross body. Then the leather of the bags, it's a heritage calfskin that they use, is very similar to the Berenia leather from Hermes. It's soft, um, it has the, the, the matte look to it. And the Joseph de Clos um, heritage calfskin has been very gently tanned and finished. It hasn't been finished. So the, the, the skin still has its oil. So it, it very beautifully develops a patina over time. Um, what really stands out when you walk into their boutique uh, at 54th for Beau Saint Honoré is just, it's, it's like an art gallery. But when you look at their bags, they look expensive. They're expensive and they look expensive. So it's worth a punt. Take a look. Um, the Diane top handle, flap over, similar to the Kelly. Kelly's more feminine. It's a little more elegant, whereas Joseph Duclos. It's a regal brand. Um, the colors, the styles, it stands out. It's beautiful. Um, worth looking at uh, whenever you are on Football Centenary.
few doors down from um, Joseph Duclos, uh, just as an aside, is another brand at number 49 called Moreau. Moreau I'll talk about um, in a couple of my Toad videos, Toads for Thought, and also another video where I'm talking about it in relation to Moynao. If Hermes were to ever produce Toads, their direct competitor would be Moina and also Moreau. Moreau's top of the range totes are superb. They're absolutely faultless. The bull skin and calf skin that they use is absolutely beautiful. It's thick, it's soft, it's sumptuous. But the craftsmanship is absolutely arresting. So that's another uh, brand for you to visit um, when you're in that area. The next brand I'd just like to talk about, also on the same level as Hermes, and I've spoken about this brand before, and I'll talk about it a lot, is Italian brand Colombo, and in particular the Dion style in the matte croc. Oh, absolutely beautiful. Direct competitor to Hermes, the, again, your, your Kelly, beautifully made using level, uh, leather from uh, the Hermes-owned tanneries, fantaf fantastic craftsmanship absolutely beautiful brand that I will talk about increasingly uh, going forward. And then the final brand I'd like to talk about, and this is the brand where if you have more than 5,000 euros, pounds, dollars, for example, to spend on buying a bag, you're buying a bag at the very top end of the market. Something for you to possibly mull over is getting a custom made bag. Because you then have the opportunity to get something that's either same level, depending on who you use, or better than Hermes when it comes to the craftsmanship. The brand I'd like to talk about is a Parisian brand located on uh, Rue Durette. It's called Durette Paris. And they work with a lot of um, more your exotic skins than just your normal calf skin. If you're going to spend six, seven thousand pounds, for example, on a bag, I'd be more inclined to say go for something a little more exotic, a little different. But the bags are absolutely beautiful. What you will get from du Durette Paris is uh, products that are made using the same leather as Hermes, the same quality leather. But the craftsmanship is superior to Hermes. The bags are incredibly beautifully made. They make other products in addition to bags, for example, card holders, wallets, for example, and belts. But the bags are absolutely stunning. They are arresting. I went to see them recently. Uh, I thought, you know, explore this whole uh, custom made bag. There are a number of brands on my radar that I'm, I'm looking at. They all have their own unique style, their own niche, for example. Durette Paris is focused on more, on more of your structured bags but they're absolutely stunning. Better made than Hermes when you look at the craftsmanship, the, the stitching, the detail of the stitching, and then also the finish of the bag. When you look at the edge coating, how it's applied, um, how thin it is, oh, it's absolutely exquisite. And I would rather spend um, 5,000 plus euros on that sort of product than the Kelly or the Birkin. You're also getting incredi incredibly better service. They're incredibly attentive. You are getting your money's worth when it comes to the service. You're not rushed. You come in, you choose the particular style you would like. Then you agree on the, the leather, the color, and they keep dyeing it until they achieve the color you would like. And then when the bag is produced, you're getting constant video updates of the progress. They're showing you attaching various components of the bag. Um, you're really involved in it. Um, they're attentive. They react to whatever issues you may have or questions or thoughts and you end up with a product that is absolute perfection. And that is where I would rather spend five, six, seven thousand pounds um, on a bag if I'm going to spend that kind of money. And it's something I'm looking at. It's very much in, in keeping, it's, it's within the context of my channel that if I talk about certain services, certain products, then I also need to partake in them. So that's where I would spend my money. If I had uh, the, the Birkin or the Kelly uh, money to spend and not play the game uh, or jump through the hoops that are expected in order for you to score a bag. But that's three bags I'm put, uh, three brands I'm putting out there. Durette Paris, uh, Colombo I've already spoken about and also Joseph Duclos. Joseph Duclos I'll talk about in a lot more detail in a later video, but that'll be soon. Any other questions as always, let me know in the comments down below and I look forward to continuing the conversation.